Coming to the ring right now, our North American champion from Moscow, Russia, 120 kilos. Here comes Vladimir Markov. And his manager, Dr. Mark Curtis. championship held by Vladimir Markov. Right back with more exciting action here from the Great Lakes Wrestling Association. Boy, what a confrontation this is going to be. Vladimir Markov, the big man from Russia, against Ron Cumberledge. Now Should be a good one, Jimmy. Absolutely. And you know, I want to mention, Great Lakes Wrestling and ITR Sports has been bringing you a uh, matches now throughout the country that are only the best and i'll tell you something this kid cumberledge is part of what i like to call the new breed that we're bringing jack one of the things that we've decided to do in great lakes wrestling is not just bring big people in but we're bringing in some of the finest young athletes around look at cumberledge look at the way this kid is built and i'll tell you something when you look at vladimir markov he's not exactly a slouch either this is going to be a heck of a matchup All right, we're waiting for the bell to sound, and this match will be officially underway momentarily. The crowd is getting into it. I've seen the big Russian go at it before, and uh, he is very impressive. All right, finally... We're going to get this thing started. Why don't you shut up? What's the matter with you, Kurt? I'm getting tired of this Dr. Mark Curtis. This guy. Look at Cumberledge, though. Cool as a cucumber. All right, Vladimir Markov and Ron Cumberledge right now. Sort of playing uh, a little cat and mouse game right now. Look at Ron. Better watch out, though. Fans love this kid. Young, good looking. I'll tell you what, Jack, I had a chance to talk to this kid recently. We went over to his workout schedule. It is brutal. It is. He, he looks, you know, the thing is, he's so well defined, he works on special exercises. He doesn't just do weights, he works on special combinations, special machinery. Does a lot of aerobics, too, I understand. Absolutely. And that's the thing, he's so lean and limber. Look at that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Spinning out of the wrist lock and reverses it. 
Cumberledge applying the pressure right now. Standing wrist lock and a reverse by Vladimir Markov. Headlock. And that little runt out there near the apron of the ring, Dr. Mark Curtis, antagonizing the crowd. You know, he doesn't respect the people that pay his salary. That really bugs me. Carmelich took a big fall there. Leapfrog. Beautiful veal. And Markov for a higher ground. He's had it. Well, oh, look at this. Ring. Look at these two. Jack, I'll tell you what, we've seen Dr. Mark Curtis. He's been such a controversial manager since coming to Great Lakes Wrestling, managing people like the Sheik, the Destruction Crew, and now Vladimir Markov. The one thing I have to give him credit for, and I do it begrudgingly, is he does know his wrestling, and he does know prospects to obtain to manage for wrestling. He's, he really knows his game, but I don't want to tell him that to his face. All right, Markov and Cumberland's back in the ring right now. Oh, tremendous couple of shots in there by Markov. A headbutt. Now pounding the back. Right hand to the jaw. There's a right hand to the midsection and an elbow smash by Ron Cumberledge. Whip into a neutral corner. Cumberland's coming right back with their big shoulder. Markov is stunned, and the thing that he's really having a problem with, Jack Curtis said, we're going to make this a power match, and so far, Dr. Mark Curtis, the manager, is wrong. It's getting to be an agility match, and he's going to lose if that is the case. I'll tell you that right now. And Cumberledge, like Markov, strong, but Markov wanted to go strictly power. And right now, Andy Cartarelli is getting on Dr. Mark Curtis, who gets closer and closer. Look at this, roll up. Two count. Woo. Headlock now being applied by Ron Cumberledge. Another two count. Jack, the thing that annoys me is, and we've talked about this in Great Lakes Wrestling, but the Board of Directors and Championship Committee still is allowing managers at ringside. I don't want to see that because I think that they're too distracting. I want to see these guys win and lose on their own volition, and we're not seeing that with a little runt like Curtis around. Markoff right now, jabbing away at Cumberledge. Hard right hand to the back of the neck. Tremendous force in there by Vladimir Markov. Markov has really got, oh, that's what he wants to do. Jack, right there, use the bulk. Oh, tremendous shoulder block. And I'll tell you, Cumberledge right now is reeling. He is hurt. Threw a little elbow to try to get Markov off of him. Now on the back of the neck. I'll tell you, this young man has great recuperative powers. Hard right hand to the midsection. And down goes Vladimir Markov. Fans Both men exchanging blows right now. Fans chanting, Rami, Rami, oh, big body slam. Remember, he's taking on a man who's physically bigger than he is. Wait, watch, and there's a low shot. Now, what was Cartarelli doing? That was a low, low blow. Andy Cartarelli, I'll tell you what, I don't think anybody's told him about Lindbergh yet. A little bit behind the action as usual. Look at him now. Pay attention to Curtis. Turn around. Pay attention. Close line by Vladimir Marco. At this point in the match, I'd have to give the edge and experience to Vladimir Marco. Oh, he's taken advantage of everything so far, Jack. Made a couple of mistakes early. Here's a cover. Just one. The thing about Andy Cartarelli is he's got to keep his eye on 
the action in the center of the ring because Markov will use a variety of things. And I think the one thing about Markov that worries you as a wrestler is if you get in that power game that Curtis Watson in, you're in trouble. You Listen can't beat him that crowd. way. Listen to the chant from the crowd. There's Curtis. He won't buy any of it. This is unbelievable. The fans still in a very patriotic mode. They want cover in USA to come out on top. Oh, big boot to the jaw by Vladimir Markov. That is discouraging, Jack, totally discouraging. Cumberland's got a little momentum, and now he is back in trouble. The big boot by Vladimir Markov. I've seen him use those boots. Sometimes you gotta wonder, there's a little something in them. But give him credit, Jack. Right now, he's got the throttle up nice and high, and he's really taking it to him. Vladimir in control of this bout right now. Cumberland, Cumberland is really hurting at this point. Jack, well, we've seen Vladimir before. He's the kind of guy I know that you like for a long time because he can control things. Look at Cumberland. He, he is just stunned right now. I don't know where he's at. I think he's still reeling right now, Jim, from that tremendous boot to the side of the jaw. Look at Markov, a little bit of hot dog, put some mustard on that guy. Arrogance personified, there's another shot. Jeremy Mark Curtis, Jack, on that booty yell, 10 points. A little grunt. You know something, the other thing is, Jimmy Cornette told me about Mark Curtis. Uh-oh. <laughs> he caught that one. Uh, just to finish that thought, Jimmy Cornette once said that Mark Curtis is one of the dirtiest men he has ever had to manage against. And when, he's had a, when he goes against him with the destruction crew, I'll tell you, it's going to be a hell of a match. Those two just hate each other. Oh! Beautiful clothesline in there by Ron Cumberland. And down goes Vladimir Markov. Well, a little shot to Markov. Got him a little time, and now he's got him going again. Oh! Right for a flying drop kick. A standing drop kick, nothing doing. I'll tell you, we've had a number of things happen just tonight alone. We had a doctor carried out. We're trying to attend to Psycho Mike. We're trying to find out how injured he is. Just a one count there. The thing is, that little runt you saw moments ago, Dr. Mark Curtis, was responsible for some of the injuries that we've seen in this building. ITR Sports, Great Lakes Wrestling. I hate to apologize, but I do for having to put up with some of the people we have to put up with, like Dr. Mark Curtis. Now the crowd wants this thing, Jack. We just about had enough. Vladimir Markov on top of the situation right now. Front face lock being applied by Markov. A little bit of a choke in there. Applying the pressure. Cumberland fighting back, but a knee to the midsection and a hard right to the back of the head by Vladimir. That stung. Now it's an endurance contest, Jack, because Vladimir and Cumberland both hurting right now. But Cumberland's the first to come back. For the Markov. Markov down right now. Feeling the effects of that turnbuckle. Oh! Beautiful back body drop by Ron Cumberland. Yeah, he uses that suplex as good as anybody. And he's He's just a terrific young athlete. And Jack, with more experience, look for a title shot for this kid, not too far down the line. Snap suplex, Jack. Unbelievable. Nice flying mare. What's he going to do here? Oh. Elbow to the throat. Try for a press. Two. And Vladimir 
Carter kicks out. Two count by Cardarelli was right there that time. The referee was right there. Ah, oh, geez, there it is again, the rake of the eyes. Typical of a Mark Curtis wrestler. Anything and everything is in the books. Now where do they go? Oh, look at that. Could be over, Jack. One, two, three. No! Nope, two. He wouldn't stop fighting. Just the one count there. Oh, Mark Curtis is furious. I he, thought he had him. Oh, so did I. I thought it was all over. Big flying body slam, he just about put him out. Carmelich in trouble again. He's gotta come up with a good move here, Jack. Got him with a clothesline that time. Carmelich coming off the ring ropes. I don't know how he can survive this, Jack. I truly don't. He's just taken such a beating. And I don't care how good a shape you are in, there's only so much anyone can take. Forearm shot, and now Carmelo's just trying to keep on his feet, Jack. A little like, ah, look at this now. He's not gonna give up that easily. Now, where do we go from here? Got him that time. Got him with the drop kick. Here's the cover. Just a two count. Two count. Vladimir kicking out. Ooh, a forearm shot right there, Jack. Short forearm is very effective. Monkey flip, yes! Got him with a monkey flip right there. Cumberledge trying to get for the monkey flip. Oh, no. There's that experience again. And it pays off for Vladimir Markov. That is a heck of a tough loss for Cumberland. He looked like he had him. Big win. Big win for Vladimir Markov. And that little runt gets another victory in the North American Championship still with Vladimir. Turn around, uh-oh! He got Mark Curtis, and now he wants some more. Big back body drop. It's not over yet. The frustration is coming out right now for Ron Cumberledge, a little aftermath. He's still extracurricular. Picked him up in a big body slam. Oh, now look what he's doing. Let's get the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and still North American champion, Vladimir Markov. So Markov reigns the champion of my pot. That belt was all but gone. On coverage, like another shot.